Also, something that uh, popped out at me, note that these are not standard units. Liters is not standard units. That didn't make any difference because these, these rate constants weren't interacting with the rest of the, the equation, if that makes any sense. We're just dividing these into each other so their units cancel. Since we're dividing these into each other, their units cancel. Over here, we were still using an R that was in joules. So we still needed to use standard units for all the other variables on the right-hand side. And since these two rate constants cancel, their units don't have to be consistent with the units on the right-hand side. Question? Well, um, there's a certain set of units that scientists consider standard. It's called the international system or the SI system. Cubic meters. What? Oh, the, sta the standard SI units for volume are cubic meters. Yeah. Um, this is more important in physics. In physics, it's more important to use SI units. And in chemistry, you're kind of more miscellaneous in the units that you use. But the standard SI international system units for volume are cubic meters. Um, so, uh, for example, if you were going to use the ideal gas law and you were going to use 8.314 as your value for R, you would have to use a volume that's in cubic meters. You wouldn't use liters. Okay. Uh, in chemistry, a lot of the time, though, we use an R that is in liters. So then we can use a volume that's in liters. Even though, so you don't always have to use standard SI units. Sometimes you can just use non-standard units as long as they're consistent with the other units. Mm -hmm. But the R that we're using here is the 8.314. And I, that's, that's what they did in the book. And that's what's typical in this chapter. Usually the other R is just used for ideal gases. So this is what your instructor, I think, is doing in class um, as well. Uh, OK. So we solved this. And again, we worked with our various uh, rules. We had to label what K2 and K1 was. Watch out for the units. Watch out for kilojoules and joules. That comes up a lot in a lot of the different topics. You guys went over electrochemistry as well, where you keep going back and forth between kilojoules um, and joules uh, as well.